guys welcome or welcome back before we begin with today's video i'd like to say thank you to today's sponsors modern show here and before we begin with the chit chat this here is a 24 inch 13 by 4 frontal and it's a beautiful water wave these are all the goodies that came with the hair and i have already bleached and plucked it a bit as you can see it looks so perfect even before we install so because this is a makeup therapy get ready with me kind of video i am going to be chatting and talking to you guys but i'm also going to be installing my hair and also doing my makeup so if you're interested in the makeup please do observe if you're interested in the hair please do observe and i will obviously link everything down below on the description box so check them out um this hair is really really lovely and the texture is so soft i just i fell in love with it and as you will see for yourself it melted to my skin so today i do not really have a topic in mind i didn't have something that i wanted to talk about because honestly i'm fine i'm okay and i normally do this makeup therapy videos when i'm feeling a bit down and i feel like you know everything is just coming down on me but today luckily and thank god i am feeling okay like a hundred percent but because i missed you guys so much and i missed doing makeup therapy videos so much i just decided that you know what let's do one so i am going to talk about where i am mentally and where my mental state is at currently and if you are into this type of videos please do keep on watching subscribe join our beautiful family like and comment and let me know what you think so you guys know my life story and you know the things that i always talk about what i've been going through what i've gone through i have been talking about it on most of my makeup therapy videos my vlogs my story times you guys know everything there is to know about me and you guys will know that my life has always been about me giving myself chances to start over again and again and you guys know how god has been <laughs> with me through it all so firstly i would like to just say that i am super super grateful um to god and to myself for not giving up on myself because you know um there were so many obstacles there were so many things that were against me but i feel like i just i just had to give it to myself i just have to give it to myself for not giving up so yeah i would like to give myself a round of applause for not giving up so over the past few years i have been on a huge fight with myself where i just always have to blame myself and ask myself how did we get here i mean when you are coming from high school and you're still fresh they told you everything you need to know about life they told you about peer pressure they lectured you about boys um putting boys before books for bring babies and everything else and you do the exact same thing that they lectured you about and you know i was in a huge fight with myself i was like okay how could you do this to us when you know exactly what it brings and you know it's it's a huge fight when you are fighting with yourself and you are fighting your own demons you know that is the most the hardest fight you will ever have to fight and it's 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 hard it's really really hard so i do not know if it's me or if it's the people that i listen to or the sermons that i listen to and you know the places that i attend where they give you lectures but they will tell you that when you reach a certain point in your life and you do one two and three 
those kind of mistakes that you made in your life will devalue you to a point where you are nothing so they will tell you that you know what once you are with so and so many boys then like you have literally no value if you do one two and three and you lose this and that you will be of no value to anyone and anything i remember a certain lecture that we were attending and they actually made an example of a paper and a pen where the boy is a pen and you are a paper so boys will come and scribble on you um, and move on to another paper and another one will come scribble on you and move on to another paper so now you this dirty paper that is like devalued and meaningless because you were scribbled by so many boys and you know life has dealt with you and you just you know like useless you know and it it it's hard to experience that kind of thing where you are now this paper and you are devalued and in your mind you are literally nothing and you're literally going nowhere because you were told that once you do this and once this happens to you it's over for you so because of the things that happened in my life and i have been talking about these things and i have been making videos about these things because honestly i do not want you guys to repeat the same mistakes as me because trust me you do not want to learn from your own mistakes so rather take it from someone who has gone through it and has been through it you don't want to do it and you know when it comes to people being honest about their lives um, and honest about the things that I, they have been through and the mistakes that they made in their lives it's better that you listen now before you actually go there and experience it yourself so i have told myself that you know what i want to inspire people even if it's not inspiring people to do what i do but <laughs> i will inspire them to not do what i did and you know my life has been like a life of second chances it's been a life of not giving up you know it's it's never been easy for me so when i talk about these things some people may think that oh okay yeah it's for attention but child you better listen and you better not repeat these mistakes so as i was saying i felt like this paper that was scribbled and valueless but then you will remember that papers get recycled and they are made into beautiful things so it's never over i mean take it from me <laughs> i am at my happiest right now i am so happy i feel so alive i am okay like 100 percent i literally have a vision of where i want to go and i am slowly but surely going to my dreams and i am going towards everything that i've ever wanted in my life and i can just feel it happen and i can see that step by step it's going to happen so i don't know who needs to hear this but you do not have to have it all figured out in your 20s your 20s are all about working on yourself they're all about finding yourself you do not have to have it all in your 20s just work on yourself work on being you um, learn from your mistakes and you will succeed like period personally i haven't achieved anything i mean even a percentage of the things that i want to achieve but i can feel myself and i can see myself going there which is a huge deal when it comes to where i come from and actually where i was mentally so release yourself from those shackles and let's keep it moving i mean guys we are still young and we still have our whole lives ahead of us but anyways healing is a process grief is a process and 
sometimes i do not feel like this i feel down and i feel like everything is coming down on me but i just wanted to express that there are days where i am okay there are days that i am good so there is no need to be hard on yourself um it's you know a step-by-step thing nobody was born with the manual in their hand on how to live life nobody was born um knowing exactly what they're here to do so life is all about discovering yourself it's all about discovering what you want finding your passions and finding yourself in your passions and it's okay to change your mind about who you are and what you want and do not be afraid of change and people telling you that you've changed so with all that being said do not compromise your dreams but not believing in yourself i love you guys so much and we'll see you guys on my next video bye